Hey guys, this here is Ben with Tap Rack Blog. Recently, I took Performance Rifle from RGT. Uh, you probably know Chris Bondi from a regular guy's firearms channel. Uh, that was the lead instructor for this. Uh, this course was extremely challenging. Um, I come from a military background. Uh, I've taught in the military, um, and I've even competed with the Kentucky National Guard's competitive marksmanship team. Um, this course is challenging. Um, they push you in terms of speed and accuracy, and speed and accuracy is what wins fights. This is not a fighting class, this is simply teaching you speed and accuracy. Um, I was very impressed uh, and very challenged by the level of both. With that being said, I would definitely recommend that when you take this course, leave your ego at home. Regardless of what skill level you're at, unless your name starts with Jerry and ends with Michelik, you're going to be challenged and you're going to get stuff wrong. You're going to be forced to think and you're going to be forced to work through things. This is a course that, that helps you develop what you already know and that helps you see if you can utilize what you know and what you have to perform on a really high, high level. Um, some of the things that they have you do is uh, is to take qualifications from random places such as the Navy, uh, the SWIT guys, or LA SWAT, or MARSOC, except they increase the standards. Uh, if that gives you an idea of the level uh, that, that they go at. Um, some of their drills are taken from uh, the um, Hackathorn headshots, um, and you do so many cool things that it is, it is impossible to not learn something. You also have a bunch of really knowledgeable guys that are there to help walk you through these things so you're doing them properly. This right here is a math drill. What they do is they shout out a math problem and you have to solve it while you're running up and you have to shoot the proper section of the target. Um, I would argue that if you cannot do a math problem before using your weapon, you probably can't uh, decide whether someone should live or die. And that is a very, very valid point. So this right here is uh, a musical targets drill. Um, I like to call it a chaos drill. <laughs> um, I've done this several places. But um, this forces you to uh, move around a lot of people and uh, everyone has guns and it kind of simulates moving through a crowd and you kind of have to get in where you fit in. Um, in this drill, what you do is you have to put seven rounds on each target uh, and you have to be standing directly in front of it and you can only shoot one target at a time. Um, and so from that, you run into some logistical problems, you know. Uh, the only targets available, you know, have people already on them or whatnot, and you just kind of have to get in where you fit in. This is just one of multiple, multiple, multiple drills that they had. Um, I didn't get nearly enough video to really do this course justice. Anyone who trusts their life to a firearm should constantly be improving with that firearm. Uh, anyone who has uh, a service rifle or a home defense rifle should constantly be improving with that gun. Uh, there may be times when your life depends on it. Uh, there may be times when other people's lives depend on your ability to either make a super precise shot or to, to you know, overall use your weapon efficiently. Um, this course is a great way to take your skill set to the next level. This has been with Taprak Vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I'll post something else for you soon. Enjoy the rest of the footage. One miss at 1.16. Point two six. There you go. Uh, the governor would be so proud. Bye,